Look at this cool animation I made. It's actually 3D and even includes some physics objects that can interact in real time. This sprite is a sprite. It exists within Godot's 2D game engine. So my viewport is actually a 3D scene here. So I've created this character in 3D using basic geometrical shapes. I've attached a few physics rigid bodies and joints and the animations and whatnot are just programmed cosines and sines that move the head and rotate and whatnot. But the real magic of all of this is a mixture of this orthographic camera here and the viewport. So my entire scene here, the 3D part of it, exists entirely within as a child of the viewport, which I've named Viewport 3D. So this camera is going to, instead of rendering to the screen, will render to this viewport. The viewport here has a resolution that I've set to 32 by 32. You could think about this as being the resolution of my sprite. I've also set transparent backgrounds to be on so that I can see behind my sprite, of course. And I flipped the texture because otherwise it renders upside down. What's interesting about all of this is once you have your image in the viewport, you can go into 2D, have your sprite here, and instead of dragging your texture or setting the texture manually here, you're going to click new viewport texture and select the viewport that you are generating your image from. Bada bing bada boom, you've now generated a pixel sprite. One thing to note about the sprite is that if you wanted to move the character around as a sprite, you'd do it like any other sprite. You actually move the sprite around, not the 3D model. If you were to move the 3D model, it would actually get cut off so if your character gets off screen, that's no good. So you can see if uh, I run the game, uh, the character is off screen. But you can think about it just like a normal sprite sheet. Of course, sprites can't be out of their atlas. If your sprite resolution is 32 by 32, it's 32 by 32. You're generating a sprite with this technique and you need to work within those limitations. But maybe generating a sprite isn't what you're looking for. Maybe your entire game is 3D and you'd rather your screen be pixelated. So I have a 3D scene here and if I run it, you can see it looks nice. We can move around, everything's fine and dandy, but it's not pixelated. So let's pixelate it. Instead of rendering directly to the screen, we could render to a viewport first and then that viewport could be rendered to the screen. And you can do this actually really easily directly through the project settings. So Go into project, project settings, in your general settings under display, you go into window, you go into stretch when the last options mode, and instead of being disabled, you select viewport. This will make your entire game render to a viewport before reaching the screen. And if you want to change the resolution, you go into size, you change the width and height over here. Now you'll see that this looks a little noisy, a bit messy. The reason for that is because this uh, particular scene has too much detail for the resolution I've selected. You can fix this by either uh, creating a more simplistic scene using simpler models that have more defined shaped lower polys or less detail in color variation having more uh, a select palette that you choose from or lo using lower resolution images. There's a bunch of things that you could do. Do you plan on using this effect in your own game? Let me know in a comment. I'd be more than happy to check it out. And with that, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.